Science Central. There's something fishy about these robots, or more accurately, fish-like. In this test pool, these robofish are tracking a toy shark. While someone is controlling the toy, these robofish are making their own decisions. There's no human directly telling them what to do. They have a program on board, and they're getting various sensor information, either from their onboard sensors or stuff that's uh, transmitted over a wireless channel. The University of Washington's Christy Morganson, who heads the project, says that stuff includes positioning information from poolside cameras that tell the robofish where everything is. She points out that the camera system is only a stepping stone. Longer term, what will likely happen is we'll put more complicated sensors onto them, so we're starting to look at that. The military has used autonomous underwater vehicles, or AUVs, for tasks like clearing mines from a harbor. What's new here is that the robofish communicate with each other underwater and work together as a group. Multiple robofish could gather information on something faster and more accurately than a single AUV. A look inside shows their miniature self-propelled computers, and outside, instead of propellers, they flap fins like a fish. Fish are much more maneuverable in small spaces than things that we've been able to build uh, in engineering with propellers. Even though it'll be a while before we see robofish like these in the wild, it's apparent this research is going along swimmingly. Sunita Reed, Science Central News.